With this video I'm going to show you how to use the Quick Mask tool. It's one of my favorite tools. You'll notice under the color chips here there's these two little icons. Okay, One is Edit in Quick Mask mode and the other is Edit in Standard mode. So when you click this icon on the right, Edit in Quick Mask mode, notice how my color chips change to black and white. Uh, any tool that I select now, I will have this mask coming up. And you see the mask is kind of bluish, purplish. Well, if I double click here, I can really change the mask to any color that I want and any opacity that I want. Here's 100%. And I can change what does the color indicate, the masked area or the selected area. You see? So I'll go back in and I'll put it back to 50 and leave it the way it is. And the, when the black is on the foreground, it's putting the mask on here. And when I change this and it's the white, it's taking the mask off. So I can use any tools. I can use the soft brush. I can use the hard pencil. I can use my fill bucket. I can use any tools at all. I can use my magic wand to create my mask and work on my mask. I'm going to make this one really rough. Here I'll use the bucket here to get this area. Now if I go in and I go in close and I want, this is a hard edge with the pencil. If I want a soft edge, I can get my brush tool in here. I can make it any size I want. I can make it any opacity I want. And if I want to put the black in, here's the black to fill this area. And here's a kind of a soft edge for the flower, for the petals, instead of the hard edge. You can go around just like this. And I'll use the hand to go around the flower and use the brush tool just like this. Soften up this edge so that it's not a hard edge. Go around the flower. I can take it away. If I want to take this away, I would just change this color chip. So you can keep working around just like this. Kind of soften the edge of the flower a little bit. And once you make this selection from this mask, you can save it. You can either make a channel of the selection, or if you go to Select, Save Selection, it'll automatically go into the channel palette. So there's two ways of saving it. You can either, now to turn it into a selection, here it is, I hit this left-sided icon over here. You see? And I've got the selection changed. Now if I want to invert the selection, I can easily do that here. And I have this selected over here. And I can either make a channel here, and I'll instantly get a channel. Now you see in my channel, the flower has the mask on it. If I want to change this again, I can do masked area, and the reverse is here. Now I also, when I'm here in, I'll take the channel off here, and I'll go back to my layer palette. I can also save it here under Select, Save Selection, and say, OK, name my selection, and go OK. And that also goes into the channel palette automatically. So now if I want, I can copy, paste, oops, make a new layer, and there it is. There is, oops, I have the white there. There is the flower. This is the flower that I pulled out of the selection. And you notice that the edge of the flower is very soft. And that's because I use the soft brush tool when I was working with the mask. 
and I can always activate this selection again if I lose it because I have it here in the channel, my selection. If uh, You can see the soft edge. If you want to activate this, you hit this little round circle and then you select your flower again and you get off your selection. That's the mistake I made earlier. And then get onto your flower and then go copy, paste, take off your flower, and there it is. So that's how to use Quick Mask. Quick Mask is a wonderful tool for creating really fast masks and it, it uh, let, allows you to activate all of your tools so they're converted into quick mask mode. So you can use all the different variety of tools on your tool menu to work in quick mask mode.